I'm Doug. My father, Ed, passed away. Just one of my best friends, best guy I've ever known. And so this is about a painting that I did of him for his memorial service. Of course, I can't summarize his whole life. Here, I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to always say great things about how much I love him. I got this. This is a pre-made kind of board from some art place. You can get this. You can get like a Liquitex or whatever. These are cheap. Uh, gesso, acrylic gesso. Dip this. This is a nice, cheap, soft brush. And then you just load it on the canvas like that. Real, you can put it on real thick. It's okay if there's some stroke showing because that actually ends up adding character later on. But this is just a seal. We're just sealing and smoothing. Getting that canvas. I'm trying to fill really all those holes up. Okay, that's good. Now I can lay this out in the sun or I can just let it dry natural. Well, okay, next step is I've got this giant cat sitting here. I'm gonna show you, um, I bought a new paint can because my old paint can is looking pretty scrotty. These you can get at Home Depot. I don't know how much, but they have a lid. This is gonna allow you to do turpentine. And I mean, I use the turpenoid in my living room. And we're gonna have this turpenoid I only use this Weber brand. I get it at uh, Hobby Lobby, sometimes at Joann's. This is uh, 13 bucks for however much this is. And this is my old can. I think it got dented in the move, but I've had this one for 20 years, so we're gonna trade up. And look, it, this is the key part of it. Pull this, the spaghetti strainer out. Out of here. This is gonna blow everywhere all over my phone even. What is this? This is a dirty old spaghetti strainer that I bought at Target. It had a handle right here. And then I just snapped it off. You know, it has like a scoop on it. You can buy them at Target. You can buy them probably at Publix. But you snap the head off and this is what you use to clean your brush on. You, you have this soaked half, you know, halfway up with the turpenoid, turpentine, turpenoid is what we use. And then you, you, then you have this, this screen on it that helps scrub your brush. So that's the purpose of it, okay? Now, does it make sense yet? Dude, I have splattered this 20-year-old scrotty oil paint, but you can see it down in the bottom there. That is your, so take this with you shop right up to the, not quite to the top of that strainer, the spaghetti strainer in there, because I want some of that screen popping out like an island right in the middle. So let's, that. okay, that's good. Hang around, and then your turpenoid's right there. This does not smell, I can't smell it. I got my nose down in it, I can't smell it. So this is odorless, it's not stinky like turpentine. This is odorless turpenoid made of orange peels. And this, you're just gonna put that on there. And next piece of equipment is this rag. Now this is an old sock. You can see right here, this sock, it's seen better days. These you can get cheap. This is a Home Depot toolbox. Look at this. You just lift that up and I've got all kinds of paint supplies in here, different crummy paints, oils and glazes. But there is where I keep all my major oil paints. And this is crummy burnt umber, um, burnt umber. This is a cheap thing to do is put a basic stain on this board. It's, this is like a background color. It's called the grounds. This is a crummy old piece of paper. I'm just, cause I just want to throw it away when I'm done. So I'm just going to put about that much oil on there. I'm going to grab my, this is going to be an under, I use underwear, <laughs> underwear. And I just dip it in the turpenoid until there's, you know, there's some moisture on there. It's wet, it's drippy, it's drippy. And now I'm just gonna assault that oil patch. I just kind of run it through it a little bit. Not big glob on there, but watch. I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna try and wash all that out with turpentine. I just wanna wash, okay? I don't want this thing solid dark. It's the equivalent to, to working on a gray piece of paper. Okay. Something like that. Let me get this corner up here. Oh yeah, look how nice that is. 
Look at that beauty. Beautiful. Yeah, that's correct. It's even got bits of sock particles coming off on it. I don't know if you can see that up close, but this is gonna dry and then we'll be ready to do our drawing trace down. a lot of photo reference and I very carefully draw out this pencil drawing over the canvas that's been worked with a uh, burnt umber wash. Here is, this is my very tiny Winsor Newton Series 7 brush. And this is a whole lot of terpenoid mixed with that burnt umber oil color that I'm just trying to kind of replicate the drawing but paint over all the pencil. of the, this is called an underpainting. So you can see it's just barely going in with some dark washes and making things a little darker. And then I'll let this dry. So while I let, while I let this dry, I went fishing with my boys. I'm, a, I'm catching Moby Dick right now. I'm gonna catch Monstro. Monstro the whale is coming for me. He's got my dad in his stomach, living in a ship on Pinocchio. And if I catch him, then I can be a real boy. I didn't get one bite. This is a wooden pallet that I've had probably since college. I think my grandmother gave it to me. I think she used it when she was a kid. Windsor Newton, artist color. I do have good paints, but I don't know. I like cheap materials. They really, it's not like they're bad or anything. It's very, that takes care of all the paint I will need today. Put that in the middle. You kind of want to clean the palette knife so I don't turn my dark light and my light dark. So I clean my palette knife. I'm taking about a third of that. I'm just going to mix it right here in the middle. And get a nice mid-tone. Keep, just keep scraping it off and then laying it back down. Make sure that the bottom of it's remixed. A chunk of that and put it over here between this and the white. Here to take some of this dark, about yay. Put it over here, bunch of that white. Sock.
Then I went back to Colorado to meet my brother and his son, my nephew, for the big memorial service. And then here I am presenting the final painting to my mom. This is the first time she saw it. Wow. What do you think? I love it. That's it's awesome. So cool. Well done. Thank as long as you so like it, that's who it's I for. Love it. <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. I love Thanks for doing it. Amazing. We were all choked up, of course, and I was just happy to be there with my brother. Here's the painting at the actual memorial service, how it was displayed up front. So this is in memory of my dad. I just, uh, you know, he never was really a big fan of my art. He was a fan of me. And this is a huge, happy time for a legacy that is his family. That was always the most important thing to him is this family right here. And we all love him and miss him. So thanks for watching and thanks for sharing this time with my family and my art. I'm Doug.